being a transgender woman, do you take more consideration into how you present or look on stage? Yes, I do. Um, and that's, I, I, it's one of those things like in general, if I see a video of myself, if I don't look, well, thank you. Um, sometimes I don't, I don't feel that way or I feel like part of talking about being trans, I think it's more, more uh, I don't want to say more powerful, but I mean like a lot of times if they see me as not trans at first and then they realize I am trans, for some reason, I feel better about myself. Um, I, I probably wouldn't have to. I know there are people who go on and could go on stage and just like a ponytail and don't, don't give a shit. I just feel like I have to. And I, I just, um, if I see myself slouching, I feel like I don't look feminine enough. You know, if I, if I don't put my shoulders back, I feel like I'm not confident enough. I think a lot of that, that's probably not a comedy thing so much as a self hate, you know, growing up hating your body. I mean, like, you, you know, who I was, it's like, I wanted to be more feminine growing up. I mean, 90% of the time I wear like men's sweatpants around the house and a tank top. But, uh, you know, on stage, I feel like it's, it's one, I, it's sort of two things here. Yes, I want to look good for myself. Uh, and I want the audience to, to think I look okay. Like, I don't want them to think like, to think I'm so hot, they're going to masturbate. You know what? I mean, if they do, great. That's, that's gravy. But um, I want to look good enough for myself. But also, like, the one thing that another pet peeve I think I had at uh, paid shows. Um, what? Since when? Um, I'm an abomination as it is, so I might as well go all in on that. Um, what do you think they're doing right now? Yeah, right. <laughs> right. Hold on a second. <laughs> anyway, let me finish. Um, uh, no, another pet peeve I used to have at paid shows, like if, if there's a paid show and people are paying to see you, people that, that guys would show up in like a crappy ratty t-shirt and like shorts and like slippers with socks, you know, and it just, and I feel like if you're not Tambos. dressed as nice as the people who come to watch you, you're doing it wrong. So I always felt like I should dress decently at least, you know, I, I should feel like I should dress decently anyway. But then I think for me, Personally, I just, I like myself more, you know, and I think you have to like yourself on stage to some extent. You know, i kind of feel the same way. I, I, I rarely wear sneakers even on stage. Mm -hmm. And sometimes I, I see a lot of comedy and I go to see a lot of good comics. And a lot of times they're wearing a sweatshirt in a ponytail or, you know, something. And I'm like, you know, everyone in this audience paid 20 to 40 bucks to see you. It's not just to hear you. Yeah. I, I mean, if you're, when you're headlining, do whatever you want. You know, when people come to see you specifically, do what you want. 100%. You should grow a ponytail out. I think that'd be good. Um, you know, maybe <laughs> I had grow, a ponytail at some point. At one grow point a side point. ponytail. Uh, my brother can attest. I had dreadlocks for a couple of weeks. Nice. I, I, I want to see those pictures. Uh, they don't exist. It'd be great if you had like just one spot where you still grew hair and that was a dreadlock, you know? And Sometimes just, I'll so go like, like this right? So and I'll just, pretend like, my hand and I'll go like this. <laughs> <laughs> nice. But no, like one giant thing where you like spin it like a beanie, you know? <laughs> yeah, I like uh, that. Badass. This is my emo haircut. <laughs> nice. <laughs> 